Why are your eyes blue or brown or green? Why is your hair straight or wavy or non-existent? Why are you tall or short? You inherited these and many other traits from your parents. The study of how traits are passed from generation to generation is called genetics. Scientists are now gaining detailed knowledge about human genetics through the Human Genome Project. What they're finding out may affect you and your children and your grandchildren. To begin to understand genetics, though, we need to take a look at how genetic information is carried in the cells and how cells reproduce. Most cells reproduce by dividing, a process called mitosis. But in sex cells, the process is a little different. It's called meiosis. To really understand some of the concepts and the goals that we are trying to achieve in the Human Genome Project, it's really important to define some of the terms that we're going to use in talking about the human genome itself and in talking about genomes in general. A genome is all the DNA that is found within a cell, whether it be bacteria or whether it be a worm or whether it be a human being. DNA is a chemical structure commonly referred to as a polymer. It's a series of repeating units that are called uh, bases or nucleotides more properly. And DNA is the substance that we study in the context of the Human Genome Project because DNA is what makes up the chromosomes and DNA, of course, is the unit that is a gene. DNA is what makes up the gene, the chromosome, and therefore the genome. The genome is the big picture. The chromosome is a piece of the picture, and the gene is the actual portion of the message of, that is within the DNA, the genetic message, that prescribes a certain protein. Chromosomes can be most easily defined as long fibers of DNA that are the functional units of heredity. And what that means is that these are the discrete pieces of DNA that get pulled to either side of the cell during cell division. In the process of mitosis, the cell replicates the chromosome or chromosomes that lie within it and then pinches the membrane off to capture each half of the new chromosome set into each new daughter cell. So you now have two cells that have the exact same genetic message. All the chromosomes are the same in the first cell and the second cell. And meiosis is a process whereby you reduce the number of chromosomes in the cell. And this only occurs in sex cells. And in the process of meiosis, because ultimately the sperm or egg cell is going to join with another sperm or egg to create a new organism, you only need half the number of chromosomes so that the final combination of sperm and egg gives you a full complement of chromosomes or the full number that you need, not twice as many as you need. The Human Genome Project is an international effort to fully define the entire human uh, genetic makeup, the 23 chromosomes that make a human being what it is. The project is important because it will allow us to determine the position of genes. Now, we won't know what all the genes do, but we will be able to hopefully discover in the very near future what a lot of disease-causing genes are. In general, what we feel is that the work that we're doing in the Human Genome Project will have direct impact on medical science and how medicine is practiced in the future. It will open up all new avenues of not only diagnosis of specific diseases, but also treatment of those diseases, ultimately. And I think it will help us better understand things that happen to us as human beings that adversely affect our health and our well-being.